so I'm here with Stephanie Miller from Return Path and I got to tell you she's been uh, the hardest person to find. I think she's been working in the background but nonetheless I'm uh, glad we're in the kind of 11th hour of marketing Sherpa and we finally connected. I have been in the thick of things Jeff. I have been talking to people, I've been networking, I've just been avoiding you. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> yes, I've been, walking, I've been walking around with the billboard on my back. You've been avoiding me. No, great, I'm just Stephanie. I I'm like just that. Kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. Um, so, I guess, um, I guess I want to just, you know, maybe ask you, and, and um, I've asked everybody this. Uh, we say you don't know what you don't know. So, let's bring it back to the. Uh, to the newbie, the early marketer, the, the company that's just starting out, what is it that they don't know about deliverability? And, and that's a loaded question because there's so much they don't know, but let's get top line, real simple yeah. stuff. Well, I think what, what, uh, what I'd like to suggest that people focus on is the fact that there is a number between um, delivered, which is your bounce rate, which you get recorded by your ESP or your MTA, and your open rate. There's a number in between that, and that's called the inbox placement rate. That's actually how many messages reach the inbox. So if you don't reach the inbox, you don't get a response, right? So if you're not tracking that number, you have no idea. So our data shows that about 20% of permission legitimate email, like the stuff that we're all sending here from Google Sherpa, that is not reaching the inbox. 20%, that's a big number. So if you have a bounce rate, which is somewhere you know under 5% usually, and if it's bigger than that, you have a problem. And then you have your open rate, which might be 20% or 60%. There's a number in between there that you need to be tracking. That's what people need to know about deliverability is first of all, know what your inbox placement is, and it's not your bounce rate, it's that number in between. So how do you figure that number out? Is it, is it through the tools of Return Path? Is it through the tools that are available through the um, ESPs? Like how do you get that magic number? Right, well we'd love for you to work with Return Path, but there are other ways to, to get that data. So we seed your campaign so that you can um, you can actually track that placement. Some ESP partners that we work with will also track it for you. Um, but you want to make sure that you get the number. So that you as a marketer actually have that number and it's completely transparent to you. Um, you could you know, do it on your own, but that's a lot of work and probably too much, too much time to, for any one person to do, which is why um, a service exists to, to help you do that. Sure. Um, I'm not going to call you old school, but someone who kind of gets the ins and outs and has been around the industry for a while, what, what's your big takeaway from a conference like this? You can this? call me a long timer. How's that? Is that what Fair you enough. mean? Okay, no, good. geek. <laughs> We're going to come back geek. <laughs> Passionate, crazy woman, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, the question was, what's the... What's what, what, are you, what are you taking away from this conference? So, like, out of everything that you've heard, everything you've learned, what's your takeaway, the thing that you're bringing back to the office to share with your coworkers? Yeah, well, there's a bunch of those things. I think one big one is that email's not in a vacuum, that um, the internet is social, um, you know, we can't think about email out of context with the postal mail that we're doing, with the social marketing that we're doing, with the online advertising that we're doing, all of those things uh, mesh together because it's one customer reaching us in all these various ways. That is good news, I think, for email marketers because we get a seat at the table, right, and we get to kind of think about content and contact strategies in the context of the entire marketing mix. We're not like off in the corner, you know, doing this thing on our own and just broadcasting out emails. We're actually part of that conversation that really centers around the customer. I think that's very exciting, and I'm hearing a lot of that. I'm hearing a lot of questions about nurturing, a lot of questions about, you know, making sure that you um, have uh, enough content to make those touch points meaningful. So I think that's very good. Excellent. Um, if there's one thing you could actually say to our audience and viewers of the email guide, uh, what do you want to share? You know, just try to get as much information as you can that's relevant to your business. You know, like every speaker today and yesterday is talking about best practices, but honestly, it doesn't matter if it's a best practice unless you can apply it to your business. And so really thinking about getting touch points from various experts and various other marketers that can help you make the right decisions for your subscriber. There's no one way to do email marketing well. Excellent, excellent. So uh, I want to wrap it up. It's a different format than all the other videos we've done, but I want to say this is Stephanie Miller and she's live in Miami here at Marketing Sherpa. Happy, happy day, everyone. Thanks.